Okay, so. I seriously don't know how to. I'm <laughs> literally have words. Cool. Okay, let me, let me back up. Okay, so this is what happened. We were in the. Sure, though. Mm. We were in the Pageant Girl UK National Miss Meetup the other day, and um, when the meetup was finishing, I got an email from Lucinda um, regarding International Miss UK. So, this is the pageant that I was entering after I hand over UK National Miss. I was so excited because I thought I was never going to be able to compete in an international pageant because obviously my age, all international pageants kind of like had a cut of the age of like 28, 29 years old, maybe 30. Um, and I thought I was never going to be able to compete in an international pageant. So. International Miss UK came along and I was like, okay, that's the one that I'm going to do. If they accept my application, that's the one that I'm going to do. So I applied for it, got through, and I was just waiting um, to do the final payment at the end of May. So um, we could just start getting everything ready for the finals that were going to happen in August, where I was going to compete against other girls, obviously, to see who would win the crown to then represent the UK in New York City in September. I was super excited about that passion, prepping already with Harriet, uh, prepping, you know, handover plus international Miss UK. And at the international at the meetup for Pageant Girl UK and UK's National Miss, got the email from Rosinda saying that the finals were not going to take place. So they were asking who was interested in um, being put through kind of like a selection. Of with a jury like a, like some judges that they were going to select who is going to be the best representative of the UK to go directly to um, the internationals so that means one girl was going to be chosen no finals in UK straight to New York City in September so obviously I had to say yes please put me through um, make sure that you know like you guys make the selection um, like put me through put my name through because I definitely want to be considered for this opportunity. A um, few days have passed and I got a call today from Lucinda regarding the application, right? So she told me that they chose me to be the UK representative and going to New York City in September. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm Literally, I cried. Let me tell you, I cried. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. <laughs> and obviously, the reason that I cried is because it's so exciting. Like, you don't understand, okay? To me, I've been waiting my whole life to be able to be in a pageant, right? Last year, I got to step on a pageant stage for the first time and winning my title and has been the most amazing ride, being the very first UK's National Miss, has been amazing. I couldn't ask for a better experience. Obviously, after that, <clears throat> I thought that was it, you know? I can only do national pageants, which I was happy with, but, you know, there was like a little void in my heart, kind of like telling me, yes, you got your crown, you got to, you know, represent a title for a year, but, your ultimate dream has always been compete internationally, represent the country that you live in, in an international space, is a stage, defend that title and just make the country proud. So to me, obviously being chosen to represent the UK means absolutely everything. This is what I have been preparing my whole life for, because if you don't know, <laughs> um, I'm five foot tall, I'm short, so obviously my pageant dreams were cut off really early in my existence because I stopped growing at 12 years old. And <clears throat> I've been practicing my whole life, you know, I, I pretend that I was in a pageant my whole life, walking down the street, going up a hill, absolutely everything. So I have been preparing my whole life for an opportunity like this that I thought was never going to arrive. 
and it's finally here. So this is just so excited, so excited. Um, so I just started filming a few videos for Instagram and Facebook so we can start putting it out there um, once I hand over my crown for UK's National Miss and I start promoting this new system and start getting ready for the internet. So obviously this is not going to go up, this video is not going to go up until after I hand over, but yes, that's what's happening and I really hope you follow my journey to internationals because this is going to be one crazy ride and one ride that I am so excited and blessed to be in. So.